Okay, today's another one of our produce days for our compost bins. Got an old bag of apples, artichoke hearts, tons of cabbage. A lot of strawberries today. Mushrooms and dogs, of course, are fanatic because they want uh, more apples. Dogs love produce day too. That was nice. That was me dropping again twice. Don't mind me. Cabbage and strawberries again, and more cabbage. Actually, I already took a whole bunch of this out and fed the chickens. I gave the chickens a bunch of acorn squash, a couple of watermelons. Some uh, uh, just regular melon. Even the chickens love uh, love produce day when I come down with the quad and the trailer load of vegetables and show you doing a little more sniff in there. But that's what we put into our compost bins and we mix that just about 50-50 with just regular wood chips. And then of course we get a we get a lot of hay. It's loaded with chicken manure. <clears throat> that goes in there as well. Makes a nice mix. Here's our worm bin. Big one. I think I got this in one other thing. And uh, we don't have a lot of worms in here yet. I added like 25 pounds. I got it about 60 degrees, and if I dig through here, I'm sure I can find a couple of. Here's one. There's one of our red worms. So there's a couple of more of them in there. These guys are munching away. Hopefully, in a couple of months, I'll have a whole bunch of worm castings and. We're collecting a lot of the juice that flows through the compost. Well, we still got our aquaponics system going here, but just haven't done anything with it yet. We're actually going to get lights this weekend and, and uh, light this thing up. I've got 50, about 50 or 60 feeder goldfish in there right now. They've been in there almost six going on seven weeks now and uh, those guys are in there just to get the, the bacteria cycle going and up here is the grow bin we got 160 pounds of lava rock up here this is where we'll do all the planting and uh, hopefully by the time I actually start planting I'll have a nice uh, a nice uh, bed of bacteria in there and uh, nitrates be conforming or converted to nitrites and feed the plants and we'll all eat well. This is a, uh, a new experiment I've got going right here in this tub. I actually sprouted a couple potatoes and I stuck them down in here and actually right here's one coming through. You can just see it poking through there. This side's going a little slower. This side over here with the big mound, this thing, this side has been going gangbusters. And uh, I'm figuring that out of this tub, I should get probably close to uh, roughly 30 pounds, maybe 35 pounds of potatoes out of there. And uh, for my first test, I just used regular russet, you know, Wisconsin russets. And uh, so we'll see what we get. And uh, we'll keep everybody advised on those. That's it.